Here she is, legendary comedian, actress, super proud mom, author, and singer Sandra Bernard in the building. And back in Toronto. Yes. We love having you here and thank I you for coming on the here. show. Of course, thank you. Talk to us a little bit about Sandy Land. It's your one woman show, your Sandy, latest. Yes, I'll be at Richmond Hill Performing Arts Center tonight. And a little bit about Sandy Land. It's your one woman show, your Sandy, latest. Yes, I'll be at Richmond exploring the world through my eyes and also musically taking you on my my world, taking you on my journey. Into your brain. And, and, and exploring the world through my... Right, <laughs> includes uh, things like your usual comments on politics, pop culture. Yeah. Do you cater it to each city? Because you know I'm going to ask you, being in Toronto, are you going to go there? Are you going to incorporate Tyler our mayor? Ford, no. Cliché. I, I don't think there's anything left to comment on. I mean, you know, the poor guy, he's been pummeled and beaten up. I don't, I, I don't even know the status of where he's at. Poor guy. He's right? a mess. He's a bit of a mess. He's a bit of a mess. <laughs> do you change it up, you know, depending on the city that you're on, or do you go through or, or stick well, to your I, mean, I, I definitely words? add things in, you know, that, that might be, you know, like a local sort of fun, you know, aside. But, you know, you can't just, like, you know, write the entire show about the city you're in. It's, the show is very, in, you know, international anyway. I mean, I talk about my travels and mm -hmm. going to Europe and, you know, the people and the fun, sophisticated, crazy people that become part of my repertoire over the years. I mean, I might mention Jeannie Becker, my old friend Jeannie. We love Jeannie. Or Hillary Farr from Love It or List It, which is my favorite show. Oh, my show. gosh, I love Hillary Farr. Yeah, Are you hooked on that coming, show? No, she's, no, what, what am I going to do unless she comes to my apartment and, and, <laughs> and redoes my kitchen? Uh, what's that? Has she not? Come on, no, she's a I know. I, I, well, she's coming to the show tomorrow night. I'm gonna like, you know, say, and you're not allowed to put it on TV either. You gotta just come and do it. I love <laughs> her work. Is great though. She's With Desta, genius. With her sidekick. So what else is getting your attention these days to comment on? Because you've been doing this since, I can't believe it, the 70s. You look yeah. amazing. Thank you. What is it that keeps you interested in going? I know I love your take on social media. It's, 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 well, a, it's, you know, a, it's a I mean, hate, hate, love, hate. It's, it, it is what it is at this point. For me, it's great because I get my, you know, the word out about my shows, and once in a while I'll say something that's sort of funny. But I've learned over the years not to do, say anything too controversial on social media because, mm -hmm. you know, the crazy people, the haters come out, and it's like, I don't want to deal with somebody, un, some unknown person out there who's just crazy. I mean, it's not, there's nothing you can say to them. And how do you deal with that? You know, being a mom of a teenager, your daughter's 15 now. Yeah. What's that like? How do you guide her? How, how will she navigate her social media life? Because a lot the of kids, kids are, are The kids are already burning out on, on, on social media. I mean, she and her friends talk on, you know, they chat on Facebook, and it's all kind of within her school. But she's not really, she just doesn't really do that much on it, you know? And, and she's busy with, with school, and she sees her friends. They text each other. But um, I'm not concerned because I think the kids now have, you know, moved ahead of it. Mm -hmm. How did you know that this was what you wanted to do for a living? I mean, a lot of people. Oh, think I knew this since is funny. I knew since I was five years old. <laughs> really? Yeah. I said to my dad's partner's wife, Marlene Rosenbaum, she goes, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" I said, "A comedian," and she laughed, and I was like. Lady, you don't know, but that's what I'm doing at five. You know, I mean, seriously, I knew that's what I was going to do. Because, you know, you've paved the way for a lot of ladies doing their thing right now as well, because you brought, uh, instead of just self deprecation in humor, which a lot of comedians were doing before yeah, you, right. you really brought the grit, the smarts. And I said, it's one thing to be intelligent, it's another thing to be intelligent and funny, because you can permeate your messaging without people even knowing they're absorbing it. Well, you know, when I started off, it was sort of ju just barely post-feminist era. So, like, I kind of took that whole f battle and that whole fight, and I was like, hey, of the Gloria I've, Steinem's. Yeah, yeah, and, you know, I mean, I was really lucky because they did the work for me. And, you know, I could go to L.A. and, and go to the, the clubs and start doing my, my, my shows. And, you know, I was surrounded by people who were really smart and really interesting. And, you know, I just automatically assumed that... Hey, you know, I am who I am. This is who I am, and I feel good about it. And I'm sort of breaking the mold of the, you know, the typical, you know, pretty girl. And that's always been my take but on you're it. You're sexy as all heck. You own well, your confidence no, no, and your Yeah, no, and no, I'm saying I'm, you know, without, you know, patting myself on the back, I have my appeal, 
and I work on that and you know you just find your confidence level as a woman. And of course you've done brilliant work in television. You're back on the small screen yes. right now in a ABC show, a family yes. show. Yes, well, I think up here it's called ABC Spark. Okay, ABC there Spark. I am. So, as, and as Teresa Ladarsky, art professor. And the show is called Switched at Birth? Switched at Birth, yes. Is that fun? Being on set? It's really been fun. You know, they wrote the part Do for me. They called me and asked if I wanted to do it. I said, yeah, no kidding. I mean, anytime somebody writes something that's intelligent. And all my scenes are with this young girl who wants to be an artist. She's the lead in the show, very talented actress. We look forward to everything that you do. Continue Thank you. success. Thank Go you, see Sandra tonight. She will be at the Richmond Hill Center for the Performing Arts. It's 10268 Young Street in Richmond Hill. It's tonight, <laughs> it's tomorrow. Tickets only 45 bucks. You need laughter. It's good for the soul. Uh, for more information, SandraBernhard.com and follow her at Sandra Bernhard. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you, honey. You really did your homework. Oh, you're so sweet. Come Early back in the anytime. morning on a Friday. <laughs> I'm well, impressed. Uh, come back on a Monday. You'll see a different Dina. Right now, I'm going to Francis D'Souza in the news.